Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and today we're going to be looking at Escape from Tarkov. Now I'm going to be showing you exactly the very beginning and the first experience of me jumping into this as a completely new player. I know nothing about this. I've seen a few videos, as I'm sure many people have, on YouTube right now. So I'm going to go through literally booting up for the very first time, jumping in, and giving you my thoughts. Now before I get further into this video while this is actually installing, I want to give a big shout out and a big thanks to Blue Drake, old BD42 himself who actually gave me this key. Yes, Blue Drake of all people. I think YouTube wars with me and Karma Cut, all that stuff is over and I'm actually now affiliated with Blue Drake and the Machinima Network so time to turn a new page and move on. So let's jump in and have a look at Escape from Tarkov. I'm going to blur out the key on screen at the minute because as you actually install it, it is locked to your PC so you can't be giving the installer to anybody else. So here's the main blurb on the loading screen. Welcome to Escape from Tarkov. In this game you will have to fight for your life and survive the perils of Tarkov, a Russian city in the Norvinx region. On the brink of chaos, collapse and the twilight of civilization. Your character is a contract operator of a private military company, caught in the maelstrom of events right after contract wars. The area is sealed off, your operational command is not responding, former mission objectives have lost their purpose. Everybody has personal goals now, adapt and survive, exfiltrate the blockade or take control of others' lives by attempting to save them. Blah blah blah. So let's get our name in here. Of course, we're going to be putting in a pair of players. Let's just type that one that in capitals, please. Give it a much. There we go. Pair of players. That'll do. And can we put any? No, we can't put any little asterisks or anything else in there. Let's click the next button. So what have we got next? Bear and Usek. I presume that's an emit a PMC, private military contractor. Let's just have a look. I can't actually see them. Bear. I presume if we click it. You're an operator of a USEC, the offshore established PMC, employed by the Terror Group Labs as a security subcontractor. Over the contract wars, the primary goal of USC was to destroy the evidence of any politically illicit activity of the employer and protect its property from being captured by Bear. The PMC hired... oh, blah, blah, blah. I think for now it's just a matter of... because uh, I don't know the difference on any of this. I'm just going to go for the one that I actually prefer the look of. Uh, blah blah blah. I think I prefer the look of the USEC or the PMC as I'm going to call them from now on, and we'll call the bear the ex Russian Special Forces. So let's go for this one. Liking the look on that. And here we are at the main loading screen. Attention, this is beta version of Escape from Tarkov for testing purposes. So we've got trading and character. Let's just have a look in here. And holy moly! So all this content on the right is what we actually start off with. So this is extremely fresh. We've literally just installed the game. We've got a backpack. We've got no helmet, goggles, body armor, anything. I presume we've got basic clothing. We've got bayonet down here. And, oh my god, all this stuff in here. Uh, food. We've got food, knife, medical. Uh, what else have we got in here? Barter, rig. There's the Molly Rig System Special. I don't know what any of this is. What, what weapons have we got? Okay, so we've got, looks like we've got two pistols. Uh, sorry, five pistols. They look like a... Is it Makarov? Definitely looks like a Makarov. What we, what's this down here? Alpha Container. No idea what that is. Quick Use Key. V for Bayonet. One for Pistol. Um, what else have we got up here? Health. So this is all the health system for each injured part. 435, I've no idea what that is. Health, I presume. What's this? Radiation, maybe? No, that'll be radiation. There's no tooltips coming up here. That's water. Don't know, is that how much I can carry? Possibly. Body temperature, 100. No idea. It'd be nice if there was little tooltips that actually popped up to tell us what this is. Now, there is a skill system in game, and it goes by the amount of time you're in game and the experience you have. It doesn't go on kills like other games. So the more you play it, the more this will increase. Now, as a new player, I have no idea if I jump into a server, am I going to be in there with, say, people who are skilled up the max on a lot of these items? Again, I have no idea. There's not a huge amount of information actually released on this. And what we do need to remember is this is beta. 
This is beta. Everything's alpha pre-release and all that garbage these days, but this is beta. Notes, maps, no active tasks. Blimey, look at me, am I right? Brute. The actual modelling on the character I like. I don't like the head, though. That just looks a little bit fucking ugly. And what's all this stuff? KIA, MIA, missing in action, um, body parts lost. Jesus, so there is a, can we blow limbs off in this game? Uh, we've got down here a handbook. Um, so here we are on the actual map screen. And as you can see up there, a lot of these seem to be locked. So we've got custom... And it looks like we can pick the different times of day here that we're actually going to be coming into the server. So we've got factory. Uh, what else have we got in there? What's? Let's just try factory. Um, we might play this offline just in order for us to be able to enable offline mode for this raid. It's going to give us a chance to actually come in, have a look at the map get used to some of the controls without getting killed instantly by players who are more highly ranked, I presume. I, assume, I presume that's the whole point of this. And if, like me, you've been a little bit confused about this game, I don't really know what is this. Is this like player, player unknown Battlegrounds where we come in, we find resources, we survive and we leave? I've heard little little snippets around on Reddit and other places like that where they're talking about um, when the game actually is released there will be missions you'll have like say an hour and a half to find a certain piece of intel in a certain location or there will be raids where there'll be uh, a certain amount of enemy PMCs that you must take out and extract etc etc but I think regarding the beta there's not actually anything in there it's more of get in get some loot extract now what I do know is is that if we come in here and we find some and we die we lose everything. Okay, so here we are. We're finally in Tarkov Factory, and I am an operator. And I'm clicking down the mouse scroll wheel, which is a little bit of a free look, but I can't look completely around. And do you know what? It's probably not going to come out on YouTube due to its horrible, shitty compression. But this game is beautiful. Wow, it is very, very nice indeed. And as you can see, we have got a full 3D character here. Just looking if we hit the caps lock key, it is almost sneaky beaky mode, a little bit of a walk mode. So I'm just gonna have a look around. L is to check our weapon. Very nicely modelled. Now what always stood out for me in this game from looking at some videos was the audio, the audio. That looks beautiful. Now there is a little bit of anti-aliasing issue here, and I'm sure when this goes on YouTube, that's not going to be too visible. So there is a little bit there, but that looks really, really nice. The lighting effects in here are really nice. I'm just looking at the lean options here with the Q and E. I think a lot of the majority of the controls here are going to be the same as you're used to in other first-person shooters. So it's a Z to go prone. Now what you may forget on screen here is there is no hood. Absolutely no hood whatsoever and I was just pressing a few buttons then to see whether there was any cut. <laughs> wow the audio. The audio in this game is brilliant. That, again I've got headphones on. I think my ears are bleeding which is just going to mean that firefights are going to be brilliant. Let's open breach. Okay. So I'm using F. So it, that automatically came up and I used the scroll wheel to select which option I wanted and then I pressed F. Just the audio of the character moving around is... Let's open this door. Is really, really nice. And because this factory is quiet, when there are... Let's just press this. Okay, so can't shoot lights out. I'm sure that'll come eventually because they are going for ultimate realism but as I was saying the fact that we can it's quiet in here and we make a noise like this and running around means that you're going to be able to hear other players within this map quite easily and this is the corridor where a pistol is not going to meet an AK-47 and unlike many other games 
you have to properly aim. There's no assisted aim in this game. That There's no... No sort of extra thing to help you with aiming. If you don't aim down the sights properly, there's no crosshairs, and you're gonna die. Quite simple. Full ballistics in here for the weapons. And each weapon has probably got about 30 different parts that you can customize, upgrade, etc. And I've seen on a video there are some crates here. So let's just hit the F key and see what's in here. Now up at the top it's going to be searching as if we're rummaging around in there and we're not going to know what's in there until we actually then put our hands in. That looks like an, is that an AK-47 one? So we click it, inspect. So that's a 30 round 5.49 by 39 magazine for an AK-74. Oh, AK-74! Tell me there's an RPK in game. Uh, discard, obviously we can't install because we don't have that weapon. There's my rig, so do we just drag it? Oh, we drag it. So it looks like there is a a storage system in here. What do I do? Inspect it. I think we inspect it to know what it actually is. What is that? Is that a su it's not a suppressor? Is that a compensator? What is it? Compatible with? Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll just we'll just drag them all. Yeah, I'll click back. There's nothing else in there. There's another one here, lads. Come on, please give me a rifle. Give me a rifle. What have we got in here? Ooh, a hand grenade. I oh, love that. That's a Russian hand grenade. I don't know what that other one on next to it is. I'll put that in my pocket. What's that? What is that? Medical use times six seconds. Removes radiation exposure. Okay. So by that I presume there is going to be some radiation system. I'm looking at the bottom as well, 92. It looks like there is water and food and weight and everything else in in this game. And it reminds me a little bit of... Uh, was it Escape from Chernobyl? What was that other game? Stalker. It's definitely got that Stalker-ish feel to it. And... So this first video, I'm literally just going to have a little run around look at some of the graphics, get a little look at this first map, and then on the second video what I'll do is I'll jump in on my very first open live server, PvP, and see if we can actually get a kill, find some good stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, imagine that, bursting in with a shotgun. Now, what the little things that I don't understand about this game and things that they don't explain very well is, how do I know when I go live how many players are in the server? That's one question. And two, there doesn't seem to be a mention of where the actual exit is, because once you come into this level, whatever you find, you have to extract in order to be able to keep. We found a key there. Keys are valuable, they open certain doors, so we will take that. Yeah, they didn't tell you where the extract is. Now, the only reason I know where it is on this is because I watched a couple of videos on YouTube a while back when the first alpha was announced. Why can't I grab that? I could inspect it first. What is it? It's an hard drive. Yeah, so that that can be the frustration uh, that I, I've seen in a lot of other videos of people playing. They find some good loot and then they can't extract. That's one question. And the other one again is, how does this loot system work? If I'm on this server, what if the other players pick it up? Does that mean that's disappeared and then I can't find anything again, again, again? There's all these questions that are I can't seem to find the answers on this game, and I think they need to market certain things a little bit better, make it a little bit clearer on what is this game. I do know that once you've completed all the raids, as they put it, the missions, when it's finally released, the entire map will open up as one huge map, so that will be quite interesting, as long as there's things to do, because running around like this on quite a quiet, empty, lonely experience is not really going to keep you coming back for more and more and more. So it's nuts and bolts. I presume we can smelt that and make something out of it. So, what's in here? For some reason I'm hitting the caps lock and it's not allowing me to go from from uh, walking pace to normal pace. For some reason, I don't know whether that's a slight bug. I'm just going to let you have a little a listen to the audio at this point because it does sound really nice in here even though there's not actually anything happening. If 
there is the ability in future to be able to set up your own, let's say, squad within this game, a little bit like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, and you can come in as a team. And if there are objectives such as, you know, find the key within the warehouse, etc., etc., and you know there are other squads and other members on here in this map, say 40 or 60 players, that would be fantastic because death comes very quickly in this game. If you take a serious leg wound, and your teammate or you haven't got any you haven't got any bandages or any way to heal that and you die you are done you are finished you have lost everything so that is going to make the team play aspects of this game brilliant because you are really going to be on tender hooks all this you know cover me while i cross watch the six watch the corridors that is going to be more prevalent in this game than it is in any other game that i've certainly played and it's almost like an RPG stroke loot shooter. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there going to go, you fucking idiot, it's nothing like that whatsoever. You've got it completely wrong. But I'm looking at this as a completely new player. I'm just looking at the real-time lighting here. It's very nice. So what we'll do on this video is, I seem to remember that there is, is, is it a red door or a green door following these green tack lights? That enables you to be able to extract. Just looking around if I could run faster with a knife. You gotta remember this is not Call of Duty. Why would you be able to run faster just because you've got a knife in your hands, you idiot para? This is about as realistic and hardcore as you're gonna get. And if you're into that sort of military shooter, then you're gonna be in absolute heaven with this game. So I'm, I'm collecting some of this crap because as we get to the main menu, there are gun dealers that you can trade stuff in to, to get more credits. And there is a time scheme for the next 12 hours, they might have a deal on an AK-47, etc, etc. But I know that some of them are like $300,000, like a decent M4 with this, this and this. So whether that's going to change and be a little bit more realistic, who knows. My only other fear as well is, is I've got five pistols. If I come into this five times and die, we're going to come in with nothing. That's going to make it very difficult for you, and of course there is that fear of once you've come in, let's say you find an AK-47, if you don't get out to the extraction zone and you die, you lose everything. So my other completely new player question on this game is going to be, what's to stop the other players in this scenario, just say, camping the... Oh, it's not this one, it must be the one at the other end then. What's to stop other players sort of camping in this room, knowing that everybody has to come to this point to extract and get their goods? So it's almost like pre-camping the exit spots with all the Gucci gear and they've got all the AKs and everything. What's to stop them doing that? I don't know if there's any incentive for them to do that, whether that's a community thing. All new player questions that you probably know the answers to. You know the answers to any of these. Please, please, do put them in the comments box below, because I have come into this completely fresh. I didn't want to do too much research on the game, because this is how a lot of players are going to get into the game. And this is going to be the same experience that I'm having, that you're going to be having. So, let's just go to the other... Oh, found another... The thought of opening this case, and this has been like an M4 or an AK in it, or a weapon in it. Uh, well, that's a compensator. I only know that that helps with radiation. Let's just climb over here. And it's going to be at one end. There it is, it's down there. I think it's this one here. And we will extract. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a really quick look at Escape from Tarkov. The audio and graphics are beautiful. And the thought of being in here, sneaking about, getting shot, and actually having an objective. I think it needs to be objective based for me. It's just running around getting loot. I'm going to get very, very bored very, very quickly with this game. But this has been my first look as a complete new player. In the next video, I'll do some real PvP on the server, on one of the other maps, and we'll see what we think. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe and like, and any questions you want to know. I've been Paraplays, and this has been Escape from Tarkov.